In previous videos, we've talked about neurons. So we've talked about how neurons have a bunch of different parts, the one being the dendrites, which reach out and collect information from other cells, or they listen to other cells. We have the cell body, or the soma, which is where the organelles are contained. We have a long axon that's covered in a structure called myelin. And the message that the neuron is sending is conducted down this axon. And then we have the axon terminals on the end that allow our neuron to communicate with other neurons. And we've discussed how a simple electrical signal is what's propagated down the axon, how it's transformed into a chemical signal, and then back into an electrical signal for the next neuron. But how in the world does this simple process lead to the complex things that happen in our brain? How does this lead to us being able to see and talk and catch a ball or plan for the future? Well, this is a really interesting question in general and one that we haven't really completely solved. But there are a couple of ways that we can approach this question to help us understand the complexity that it can lead to. The first is to think of just how many neurons we have in our body. We have about 40 billion neurons. And each of these neurons, each individual neuron, connects with about 10,000 other neurons, meaning that there must be trillions of synapses. Another thing to keep in mind is that neurons are not just equally spaced throughout our entire body. Instead, they're congregated in places that we refer to as neural networks. And to help understand why, think about why people like to congregate in cities and don't just equally spread out throughout the entire country. And I mean, there are many reasons why people live in cities, but one is that they are able to network when they live close with other people, that they're able to have more connections. And that's exactly what we see in the body. Sure, the brain needs to connect to your big toe, which is pretty far away, but having a brain, having a place where you can have billions of neurons that are all really close together, allows for us to increase the number of connections and also increase the amount of communication. Thinking about the fact that neurons are organized into networks and the fact that there are so many of them, it might help to remember a phrase that you probably have seen in your psych textbook, which is that neurons that fire together wire together. Meaning that when we use connections between neurons, those neurons are strengthened, those connections are strengthened. And so we don't just have individual neurons talking to other individual neurons. We have complicated, interconnected networks of neurons, all firing together. And that helps lead to the complexity that we see in everyday life. 